Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support, and in this video we're going to go over how to update firmware on a GemC or Firelink panel. We would launch our quick loader program, set it up as normal, go to Tools, Panel Firmware Download. If you have a panel with Tiva firmware, which would start with a 90 dot whatever the version, um, we would leave this checked, click Browse. Pick the correct version. And then click Download to Panel. We would pick Local, Radio, whatever um, mode we're going to use. The panel is going to have to be unlocked with the master code with the keypad and enable program at the E28 error check for the firmware to proceed. You would click OK and then start the firmware download. If we had the older style 2 micro panel, we would uncheck Tiva and then we would go to combo micro 1, micro 1, click browse, Pick the file. This would start with a version 82 with a very old one all the way to version 86. Same thing, click download, pick your method, and then click OK. And also the keypad does need to be unlocked and enabled for an E28 error check. After the firmware download is complete, you will do a full download to the panel and that will clear the error check. Just to review, we went over how to update firmware on a GEMC panel or Firelink panel using Quick Loader for Windows. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.